Our current and future goals really pertain to our mission statement, uh, which is to perpetuate and enhance the liturgical music of the Greek Orthodox Church. In that regard, it sounds like a very small area, but it touches on a, a wide area of life in our church. When I think about the goals of the National Forum, uh, they really fall into four areas that we, we started focusing on um, quite soon and we continue to focus on today. One is assistance, of course, to choirs. Another is assistance to our chanters. And another is assistance to our clergy. And then a last is uh, assistance in general to the parishes. And over the years, over the 50 years, um, we've developed, especially worked on developing educational and supportive resource materials for people in those groups. In the early days of our church's growth in this archdiocese, we had, as the people began to establish parishes, there was always a chanter there. Those people were trained in Greece, they were self-trained, or they were trained mostly in apprentice, long-time apprenticeships, and they really carried the load through the early, early development of the church in America. There weren't a lot of choirs, there were a few. There began to be interest in choirs, and some parishes started choirs, very small choirs, um, including some women. So what has emerged that's very unique to us is that we have two traditions of church music in the Greek Orthodox Archdiocese of America. We have the traditional Byzantine chant um, tradition, and then we have the development of the choral tradition, both of them existing in most of our parishes, um, both of them all doing the same thing, and it's helping the congregation to worship because our hymns are our prayers. And that's why we're intimately involved in the services because we're helping the people to pray. And that's why it's so important for us to make sure that the chanters have the resources and get connected to the training schools. It's so important that the choirs sing well and know what they do. And so important that the youth are trained in these two beautiful traditions of our church. You know, we're very blessed. The people that make up our organizations are probably some of the most dedicated church people in the country. Uh, these are musicians that um, are there every Sunday, that come to rehearsals, that are there for holidays, that work, and usually are also members of the Philoptos, are members of the Sunday school, uh, wear many hats, um, yet they still make choir and church music one of their priorities. Uh, very talented, uh, people that are professional musicians, commoners that don't have any experience whatsoever, uh, that just learn music by just attending choir in, in their church or in their schools. We have composers, we have directors, we have accompanists, we have musicians that are uh, every walk of life. Um, and it's just a wonderful cross-section of, of uh, people that we deal with. Our current and future goals really uh, pertain to our mission statement. Uh, which is to perpetuate and enhance the liturgical music of the Greek Orthodox Church. Uh, we do that by a variety of ways, being the voice of our musicians, uh, working with the archdiocese uh, and their uh, related departments and whatever we can do for them musically, supporting our uh, clergy, our musicians, our church schools, our Sunday church schools, um, and even our congregations. Supporting our federations, our member federations is very important. Uh, perpetuating and, and preserving our music and um, our history uh, is another one of our goals that we're working towards. And looking to the future, it's unsaid that, of course, we'll be involved with the development and the preservation of the church music of our faith. There will always be needs for how can we have better trained chanters? How can we have better trained choir directors and better trained choir singers? How can we have children singing in church? How can we have the congregation singing? How can we build strong church music programs in our parishes? Because that's the essence, so much of that is a part of the essence of our faith because hymns are prayers, but also it's the essence 
essence of our worship because we're a singing church. And it's not that you have to be a professional chanter or a professional choir singer. It's everybody singing because we're all praying together. And that's the most important thing we see is our role is to strengthen those church music programs in the parishes so that we all are presenting our praises to God in the most powerful, in the most beautiful way that we can.